The film begins with Anna speaking with her sister and brother-in-law about the importance of art and her dreams of opening her own art gallery. However, her brother-in-law interrupts her and tells her that art is nonsense and cannot ensure the future. He points out that Anna graduated from an art school, but now works as an employee in an art gallery, earning a monthly salary that is not enough to rent an apartment. Anna explains that life in New York is expensive, and many young people her age face the same problem. However, her brother-in-law is uncomfortable with her presence and asks her to find another apartment to live in. Annoyed by her brother-in-law's words, Anna apologizes and promises to leave his apartment as quickly as possible. She then heads to her job at the art gallery, where an auction will be held to sell paintings worth millions of dollars. The gallery manager, named Claire, warns the staff not to make any mistakes at the auction. She notices stains on Anna's clothes and assigns her to stand at the front door, receiving guests and distributing art painting catalogs as a punishment. After completing her task, Anna returns to her office and confides in her colleague Amy about the difficulties she faces in life. She expresses her desire to open her own gallery, but feels that circumstances are not in her favor. While going through the art painting catalog, she discovers a typo stating that a painting is done in oil when it is actually done in acrylic. Anna informs her manager Claire about the typo, and Claire corrects the information before the auction begins. Claire scolds the employee responsible for the mistake, emphasizing the high price of the painting and the potential loss of customers and the exhibition's closure if not for Anna's intervention. Anna feels proud of herself when Claire compliments her for the first time in front of the staff. In the evening, Anna overhears her sister and brother-in-law talking negatively about her but doesn't fully understand what they mean. She falls asleep and receives a call from Claire the next day. To her surprise, Claire informs Anna that she has chosen her to travel to London and help oversee an auction sale. Anna feels ecstatic upon hearing the news and asks about the travel date. Claire reveals that the plane will depart in two hours. Anna quickly packs her suitcase, noticing her sister and brother-in-law's satisfaction with her departure. At the airport, Anna is surprised to find out that Renee and Suzette, the two girls she dislikes at work, will be traveling with her. Renee and Suzette treat Anna arrogantly due to their higher positions. Anna learns that they have booked a plane with business class seats while she will be traveling in economy class. An empathetic airport employee decides to cheer up Anna and surprises her by arranging a seat for her in business class. Overjoyed, Anna thanks the employee and then goes to the hairdresser before her departure. While at the airport, Anna receives a nerve-wracking phone call and accidentally spills juice on a young man. She tries to apologize, but he doesn't pay much attention. Boarding the plane, Anna feels happy about her business class seat, only to be shocked when she sees the same young man she spilled juice on seated next to her. The young man, named William, remembers Anna and assures her that he is not angry with her. He reveals that he is the owner of one of the world's largest marketing companies and asks Anna about her reason for traveling to London. Anna explains that she works in the art field and is traveling for work. William tells Anna that he is going to London to attend his mother's birthday. He recognizes Anna on the plane and mentions that his mother was at his reception. He asks Anna about her reason for traveling, and she explains that she works in the art field. William's mother seems to appreciate Anna's personality and invites her to join them in their car to the hotel. Anna accepts the offer, grateful that she doesn't have the funds for a taxi. During the car ride, Anna asks William's mother about her work, and she reveals that she worked in advertising and was famous in her youth. In response, Anna lies and claims that she is also famous and successful as an art gallery director. Upon arriving at the hotel, William suggests taking a city tour, but Anna apologizes and mentions her work commitments. However, William's mother takes Anna's phone number, expressing kindness towards her. Anna thanks her and bids them farewell before entering the hotel. Anna is surprised when she enters Claire's room and sees its luxurious appearance. Claire informs her that they won't be staying in the same hotel, as Claire has booked a cheaper option. Furthermore, Claire reveals that she will be traveling to Rome and leaves Anna with Renee and Suzette to help prepare for the auction. Claire provides Anna with a large catalog containing all the paintings to be sold at the auction. She asks Anna to review the paintings and their prices. Anna then heads to Renee's office, where she and Suzette ask her to prepare for a staff meeting in five minutes, instructing her to remain silent during the meeting. During the meeting, the director of the second branch of the City of London Art Gallery, Arnold, 
surprises the staff by announcing an upcoming auction featuring a collection of highly important and valuable paintings that haven't been sold for years. Arnold emphasizes the significance of the auction and warns the employees not to make any mistakes. After the meeting, Anna returns to her office, which appears old and worn out compared to Renee and Suzette's office. She receives a voicemail from William's mother, who forgot her computer in her car. She invites Anna to attend her birthday party and retrieve the computer. Anna finishes her work and goes to the hotel, where she notices its old appearance. She calls her friend Amy and recounts her encounters with William and his mother. Anna confesses to Amy that she feels guilty about lying to them about being the director of the art gallery in New York and admits that she is just a simple employee. She then attends William's mother's birthday party, expressing her gratitude for the invitation. At the party, William introduces Anna to his mother's friend, Julian Marks, and Anna is surprised to find herself among the world's most famous artists. She compliments Julian's artwork. Suddenly, Claire calls with an urgent request for two tickets to a Shakespeare play for an important client. Anna seeks Julian's help, but William's mother intervenes and promises to provide the tickets the next morning before taking Anna on a tour of her room. Anna is amazed by the numerous original paintings in William's mother's bedroom. William's mother reveals that she was married to three artists and inquires about the auction Anna is overseeing. Anna mentions that it is called Orion's, and William's mother appears surprised as it is the same auction where her late husband's paintings will be sold. Anna eventually realizes that William's deceased stepfather is the same person Arnold spoke about at the staff meeting and warned them not to make any mistakes in selling his artwork. William's mother reveals this to Anna and offers to supervise the sale of her late husband's paintings in Claire's place. Anna refuses, citing her desire to avoid problems with Claire. However, she accepts an invitation to attend the opening of their art exhibition the next day. The next day, Anna receives a message from William asking her to meet him at the football field to give him two tickets to the Shakespeare play. When they meet, Anna notices that William is coaching young children before going to work. He suggests having lunch together, but Anna declines, claiming to be busy. She takes the tickets and leaves. Anna then gives the tickets to Claire, who expresses her happiness with Anna's hard work, and promises to promote her at work. Later that night, Anna attends the opening party at William's mother's art gallery. Everything is going well until Claire, Renee, and Suzette unexpectedly arrive. To avoid being seen, Anna lies to William's mother, claiming to be tired, and quickly leaves the gallery. William catches up with her and asks what's happening. Anna lies to William, saying that she feels tired. William suggests continuing their evening elsewhere, and they go to a nightclub where they dance and enjoy their time together. At the end of the evening, William offers to take Anna to her hotel, but she feels nervous about him seeing the old hotel where she is staying. To avoid suspicion, Anna changes her destination from the old hotel to Claire's luxury hotel. Before entering, William confesses his love to Anna, who appears happy but also fearful that he will discover her lie about her job. Over the next few days, their relationship develops as they spend a lot of time together. Anna asks William why he chose her to get engaged to, and he responds by praising her modesty and how she stands out from other rich girls. Anna becomes nervous because she knows that her poverty is what forces her to appear modest. She changes the subject and asks about his future plans and his job. William surprises her by revealing that he has decided to move to New York to be with her. Anna rejoices at the sincerity of William's intentions, but fears that his respectful view of her will change once he discovers the truth about her background. She goes to work at the auction house, where Claire praises her diligence and surprises her with a promotion, considering her the only deserving employee. However, their conversation is interrupted by Renee, who informs Claire that William's mother has decided to cancel the auction where her husband's paintings were supposed to be sold. This shocks Claire and the entire staff. Suddenly, William arrives at the auction house, and Anna, angry that he didn't inform her about his visit, confronts him. Anna expresses her anger at his mother's decision to cancel the auction, but William assures her that he had no influence over the decision. Anna tries to explain that the auction is their only hope for success and that canceling it will result in significant losses. William senses that Anna is only in a relationship with him for her own benefit at work and states that he cannot continue a relationship based on exploitation and fraud. He leaves. Anna returns to her work and notices that her photos with William's mother are displayed everywhere, adding another surprise to her day. 
Claire calls Anna and asks her for an explanation of what is happening. And it seems that Anna confesses to her that she pretended to be someone else because she wanted to gain people's appreciation and respect. She apologizes to Claire, but Claire does not accept her apology and tells her that she is fired from her job, giving her no chance to fix her mistake. Anna leaves in tears, then sits alone in the park and calls her sister to tell her everything that happened. She informs her sister that she will return to New York tomorrow. However, her sister shocks her by revealing that she has brought a new dog to the apartment and apologizes because Anna no longer has a place to sleep there. The dog has taken her place. Anna can't believe that her sister prefers an animal over a human. Feeling desperate, she decides to confess the truth to William's mother. She tells her that she is just a simple employee and that her salary is not enough to rent an apartment. Anna apologizes for lying because she wanted to experience the life of a wealthy person for even just one day. However, William's mother surprises her by applauding. William's mother reveals that she is proud of Anna because she managed to fool everyone. She admits that she did the same thing in her youth because she believed that the end justifies the means. Then she surprises Anna again by announcing that she won't cancel the auction. It turns out that what she did was just a marketing plan to entice buyers and sell her late husband's paintings at the price she desires. Anna is astonished by William's mother's words. William's mother asks Anna to get ready to accompany her to the auction house. Upon their arrival, William's mother informs Claire that she has decided not to cancel the auction on the condition that Anna supervises the sale of her art paintings. On the day of the auction, the paintings are sold for more than the expected price, and Anna looks proud of herself. After the auction ends, Anna meets William and apologizes to him. However, William had already discovered the truth about Anna through his mother, and he seems unable to forgive her for deceiving him. Anna assures William that she lied to him to get closer because she believed he wouldn't care about her if he knew she was just a poor employee. William responds to Anna, telling her that she is wrong in her way of thinking because he didn't fall in love with her for her false wealth, but because of her strong personality. He says goodbye to her, and after three hours, we see Anna on the plane as she decides to return to New York. She appears sad because she has lost William's love. Six months later, we notice that Anna has finally realized her dream of opening her art gallery and has been promoted at work. However, she still feels sad because William is not with her. She confides in her friend Amy, who suggests spending the night somewhere else to cheer her up. Anna apologizes and tells her that she is tired. After the opening night of the exhibition, Anna is surprised by William's arrival, and she is overjoyed to see him. She asks him why he came to New York, and William responds by saying that he couldn't leave her alone on the most important day of her life. They become closer, and at the end of the film, Anna takes William to her new apartment, which she was able to buy because of her success. 